Okay, let's talk money, serious money. Over the next four years, the Washington Wizards wing player, Otto Porter, is gonna make $106 million. That's over $26 million per year. The papers were just signed yesterday, we're told by the organization. Now the deal makes Otto the Wizards highest paid player. Here's how Porter's pay compares to other professional athletes right here in the nation's capital. Burgundy and Gold's Kirk Cousins took home nearly $24 million this year. The Nets' Max Scherzer makes $22 million a year. Bryce Harper, 13.6. A lot of people say that's a bargain. Uh, Alex Ovechkin, the Caps' big star, gets $9.5 million this year. Here's another number for you just to compare. Oh, LeBron oh, James, sure. biggest of them all. Yes. Highest paid athlete at $31 million a year, and that doesn't begin to include his endorsements. Our professional athletes pay too much. You can vote now in our real-time poll at WUSA9.com slash vote. You can also weigh in on our app. We're going to have the results at the end of this broadcast. John Duran, former NBA player, former Georgetown Hoya, and if you've been around a while, you know he's a D.C. basketball phenom, played for Dunbar High School. Did you guys really go undefeated the entire year? Undefeated. There you go. They're still talking about it. He's a D.C. <laughs> legend. John, what's the most money? You were a number one draft pick, right? Yeah, Coming out? 19th pick. Okay, by uh, Utah Jazz. Okay, okay. What what was the the, the most money they were making back then? Uh, number one pick. Guys was making anywhere from one one. Well, the minimum was forty five thousand a year. And the max was like 500000 Okay, we're going to come. At that time. So, right. a couple million bucks. NBA reporter for USA Today, uh, Jeff uh, Zilgut. You like, got it right. Okay, all right. Brittany uh, uh, Donald over here, she, she's a, a fixture on Facebook. I mean, she comes at you. Uh, while I got you here, uh, uh, Kirk Cousins, why won't he sign a long-term deal? I think there's been a lot of bad blood in Washington with Kirk Cousins. I mean, he feels personally disrespected by the front office. Um, Brittany, actually, you can disrespect me all you want. For uh, how many million are we talking? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, um, the last I heard, he was offered $95 million guaranteed money, and he, he said no. So, I mean, I'd be disrespected for $95 million guaranteed easily. Well, where, where, where does all this money come from? Not from ticket sales and hats and jerseys, right? No, the biggest thing is the TV deals. That, that's where the money comes from. The NBA, just this is the first year of a $2.6 billion a year. TV deal, that money is dispersed to teams. And, and then also you have the teams who make it in uh, the ways you're talking about, if fans are filling the seats. And then you have owners with deep pockets, so the money is there. These owners and teams are not going bankrupt. Uh, any jealousy, animosity? How, how do you feel about these young guys with all this money? Well, well, for the first time in, what, 25 years, I was able to get free health insurance. Okay. So the, the younger guys understand that the older guys – paved the way you know one one of one of the things that uh we're not talking about is the situations with the older guys uh, uh having a situation now where the gap is closing where when i played we never really seen the older players with the players association now we got the retired players association and we got the current players association so we share our experiences the the the, the current players with all this money they're they're putting money into the players association which in turn allows the older players to get the health insurance and some the health insurance things. we get more money on the pension but the biggest thing with them is they understand now that they're going to go through the same door mm -hmm. so they need back and back uh, back problems need problems and all those things and also the agents control a lot of the stuff where we play. Now, since the rappers and those guys are uh, uh, parlaying with... Jay-Z, is he still representing some Jay -Z, of Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and those guys are making these guys be businessmen, unlike we let our agents do everything. LeBron James is in the meeting room. He goes in there to cut his own deals and talk to the people. So, And when he come out, he shares that experience. I, I, I recall Adrian Danley took his agent uh, to court. He sued him because yeah, when he yeah. finished playing. He didn't, have, he didn't have the money that he thought he'd have. So, so are, are the players, we know they're richer now, uh, are they more in tune with, with the money? I mean, are they really watching? Do they have something when they're finished playing? No, I, I think most of them do. They, they go through the, and John knows this, the, the Players Association will take them through training. They'll give them in contact, put them in contact with financial advisors beyond their agents. So there are steps in place to make sure that when they are done playing, because these are short careers, we were just talking about that, so that there is that money that will last them a lifetime. Okay, and how do you feel about that? Is it because they're short careers, get it all while you can, go for yeah, that's exactly what it is. Get it all while you can. I think definitely the players are much more um, in tune. They're, like he said, a seat at the table, and I think they're much more conscious and money smart. 
Where, where, where is the loyalty to the fan, or is that past tense? I mean, come on, you know. I mean, you, you sign for a team, you expect to stay, you owe that team, you become part of the. You're shaking your leg. Come on, come on, Brittany. I, I think it's about the money these days. <laughs> like I really they do. always said to, in, in the basketball game, they would have done it to me. <laughs> Yeah, the, the loyalty just briefly lies to the player himself and his family. And then after that, if it becomes a team, then that'll settle itself out. Okay. How is it the Otto Porter who, come on, okay, we'll give him this. He's the third best player on the team. How is it that he is now the highest paid player on the team, the highest paid pro athlete in Washington? How does that happen? Well, again, you got to Which is okay. I, I'm, again, I'm not, what you I'm, have I'm, to understand, the money that Otto Porter is making right now happened 15, 20 years ago when they was trying to break up the Players Association and guys stayed together. When I was in the league, if you was a player's rep, you know, we flew for first class. If there was not an open seat, the player rep had to sit in the back. Mm -hmm. So a lot of guys got really abused. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons these guys be able, is, is, is able to get some of this money would happen 20, 30 years ago with Bill Russell and those guys not playing in the All-Star game. So. The next guys, John Wall is coming. These guys are coming, two and three hundred million. How is the John Wall leads? What is it, one hundred seventy million on, on the table? I don't know if I want to sign that. Really? I, I know it <laughs> seems unusual, but that money will be there for John Wall next season. What if he gets hurt? And that's why they offered him the money just as well right now. They, for that very reason, to put it on the table for him to consider that. I also understand if John Wall, we like to say players bet on themselves these days. He wants to bet on himself and be an all-NBA player one more year and up that price. I understand that too. Brittany, if you're advising John Wall, do you tell him to sign now or do you tell him to wait? Well, I'm a fan, so of course I would tell him to sign now. Okay. But, but well, he got insurance. But he has insurance, and I, I would wait. I mean, for him, I would wait because, you know, you don't know what the Wizards are going to do, and he, that's why he is waiting. He doesn't know what the Wizards' next moves are going to be and kind of how the team is going to build up, so that's why he's waiting. Okay. Thank you all very much. It's good stuff.